are very closely linked. Okay? It's the inverse, it's the opposite. All right, so the way we start doing this is we'll start doing this with objects first, so real life things. Then we start moving on to paper and start writing things up. So, for example, for division, you might get a question that says, What is 10 divided by 5? Okay, so you might get that question. What we teach the children to do is get them to group, just like we did with the times in, the, the different sections in the calculation. So, we have 10 items, or 10 things, 10 sweets, it doesn't matter what it is. 7, 8, 9, 10. And we know we've got to share them between 5 people. So we've got one person here, one person here, one person here, another, and then a final one here. What we then do, we say to the children, when we share, it means that we're giving them so they all have the same amount. It's equal. So we show the children how to do this. We go, well, we cross that one off. That person has a sweet. We cross that one off. That person has a sweet. We cross that one. That person has one. And we keep going like this until everybody has had one. So one, two, three, four, five, all of them have had one. We then do keep on going until we've used all the sweets up. Cross that one off. That person has another one. Very lucky. Another one there. Another one there. One there. One there. We then tell the children, we ask the children to tell us how many do each person have? How much does one person have? Well, that person has two. So each of these people have got two sweets. So ten divided by five equals two. Is that, does that make sense? 